Hi, this is Ikrofe from Spectral Audio. And today I'd like to show you some of the new features we added to the AcidGen 1.1 update. AcidGen is a max for life pattern generator designed to create acid style baselines and melodies. Our focus for the 1.1 update was to better integrate AcidGen with the Ableton Push 2. While the Push 2 knobs and display are great for tweaking the different parameters available in AcidGen, many users wanted to have a way to generate new patterns directly from the Push. To address this issue, we made it so you can now use the top scene button, labeled 1 32 T, to generate new patterns. This method only works while you have the acidgen track selected, therefore it doesn't affect the functionality of the button and other tracks. Because acidgen was designed with live performance in mind, we wanted to create an easy way to control multiple instances. Therefore, we developed Acid Brain. Acid Brain is a free add-on, which lets you control four instances of Acid Gen from the Push to User mode. Because it uses the User mode, you can switch between the Push's regular functionality and Acid Brain at any moment. Let me show you how it works. Before we get started, make sure to go to Live's MIDI Preferences and enable Track and Remote for both input and output of the Push to User port. The setup process is fast and easy. Add Acid Brain to a new MIDI track. Go to each of the AcidGen instances that you would like to control and set them to different quadrants. Then, make sure that the Acid Brain track is properly routed to the Push to User ports and click the Initialize button. You can now access Acid Brain by clicking on the Push to User button. Each quadrant consists of a 4x4 subgrid. The bottom row controls length. The second row controls transposition. The third row controls the pattern variations. And the top row controls density and generates new patterns. We've also added the option to select different colors for each of the four quadrants and activate a low light mode. Because the setup is stored within your live session, you only need to do this once per project. While the quadrants work independently from one another, you can activate the global mode by holding down the master button. Global mode lets you control all four instances at once from any of the quadrants. As you can see, Acid Brain can really help you further integrate AcidGen into your live performances and studio jam sessions. It's easy to set it up and jam with multiple synths at once. For more information about AcidGen, visit SpectroAudio.com. As always, thanks for watching.